Hello everybody, today I'm going to be making a video with the 100 inch tires in Meme and G. I tried them with the truck, I don't know how to figure it out with the truck. The car that I do know how to do it out with is, let me find it, this one right here. Well the ESBR is the 8800, I personally like the best with it. We just want a new because I'm probably going to do some other things later. Let's first get the tires. You have to go to the settings, then you can type in a wheel in the search. Then go up. Make sure both wheels are Akuda KPR 17 by 9s A lot of other wheels are not really compatible with this. They don't have to be the same color, it doesn't matter what color they are, as long as they actually work. Silver and white look barely any different. They shouldn't look any different, to be honest with you. And then you have to get these, and then the 100 by 12s crawler front tires. These are a little bit big. Some people probably would think they're smaller, some people would think they're bigger. See, so yeah. Driving is normal, but let's get into the turning. Nope, not happening. Turning does not work barely. See, and if you turn, not only do you flip over, but your axles won't work. Right now, see this? See, logic cars are best when you're driving upside down like this. And my half shaft, my front left half shaft is broken. See, now I'm back on my wheels and, and, well, what's left of my axles is, well, that's not much. See, let's, let's go, let's go over these jumps. Let's go over these jumps. I'm going to end up flipping over soon. Yeah, I did not get much momentum, but that does not matter. <laughs> okay, maybe it does. So yeah, the, this thing can literally climb over it. Well, I've not tried it upside down. Well, it can. Oh, now if you're on first person, you can see that you have a bit over the roof in your head. Let's drive over this car. The clearance level on these things is not good. That's all I'm going to say. The clearance is literally terrible. Oh, and so are the brakes. Normal cars, brakes are way better. I'm gonna get a bit of slow motion. We're gonna be hitting it. There you go, 16. You hit it about 30 miles per hour. And boom. We climb right over it. I have never seen that before. Let's go in full speed. I have never seen that before. The glass is dented, but it's not cracked. See, let's try do more climbing tests. See, let's not let's move on to something a little easy. I can literally almost climb right over that. I think I got the bat a bad angle. I know this thing is not that bad at driving. Yeah, I don't think I can. It's a too big. But I can climb over it. That That's cool, too. So that's enough with the big tires. Now let's do some mix and, ma mix and match. Tire. The rear tires are going to be small. Drift rear tire. No, not drift. Race tires. You go. You can tell it's not really the best, but it's not as bad. See, doesn't flip over. Barely doesn't move. And it, see, the front makes it over, but then the back does not do that well. Let's do jumps. Let's do a another little climbing. Let's do a climbing test with this. The, my ears are not doing too well. 
it does not do as well because of the angle. To be honest, that's probably why. And if you want to back up with this thing, make just I'll let you know that your ears are not gonna be doing too well. All this thing does is skid. See, it made it up, but the back wheels are not touching the ground at all, so yeah, they're not making it up. And let's do the opposite. This looks like a tractor. This is my big green tractor. I'm taking my big drink green tractor out for a scroll. I doubt, oh god, oh god, oh, oh no. Well, that could have been a lot worse. See how the back has no damage and the front does not have the worst of damage? Front's still worse. And my ears are getting worse. So usually the bumper would not be that bad. Oh no. Oh! See, if you leave and overturn this thing, you are, you're done. You're done. We've, but we've seen them with tires. I've never actually charged them about to try. I've already showed you the big tires. But... I doubt this is going to move. But... What about no tires? It, it moves and it actually moves quite well. It doesn't turn that well. Oh. Yeah, it could be better. Maybe I should try to use this on the train track. But this thing can literally accelerate. It just it accelerates really slow. It'll probably pick up the same amount of speed, but not the same amount of speed is going to be picked up quite as fast. See, look how I could not even turn. Look at this. I'm going to make an entire video with vehicles with no tires, but this is by for now, I guess. Let's try to make a loop. Let's try to go through the loop. But that's not working. That's not working. It's not working. Let's try to make it through the loop. Turning with this thing is not that efficient. Yeah, it's not efficient at all. Let's see if this works. Oh, I'm making I wasn't. That was fun and all, but I'm gonna end the video here, I guess. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye.